Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2 Rise of the Necrons. When we last left off, we have invaded Skellis. Or at least we've invaded Skellis Sector. And we are completely whooping the Chaos Boys. Because we are pretty much better than them in the first place. Now we got the option take Vermard or take Skellis. Now Skellis is the objective for this location, and taking it wouldn't be a bad idea considering there's only 3-4, 3-9. 3-9-4 and 3-9-5 here. Their other ships are over here. They have no defences on the system. And yes, we, this one is a little damaged, a little drained of men, but that's not too bad because we can yeah, yes, we'll take Skellis. I could probably take him a single line with this guy. Yeah. I mean, I was sort of slightly playing in the last one because I wanted to snag the bonus objective. Ooh, there's another bit here. There's another one of those um, take locations, dealy. Which is bad for them because that means I'm just going to have my ship fly to the back in, in stealth mode and take it. Okay. Right, he's taking a bit of damage, but not coming in at full health. You know what, I'll take the active hull shift for him. Reload. Stealth. Destroy or route every enemy ship, so this will come fight me anyway. I want him to run off and grab that back door. Back thingy. How may I start? Initializing motive power. He's taking a slight different course. I am the dynasty sphere. How may I serve? I'm not going to give him a face thing anyway. I think we're going to need it. I'm sure the ability which actually lets him recall, recall ships. Recall troops. What is your command? Oh, he is actually regenerating his troops. Yeah, he's got a whole regeneration and he's actually slowly Ready recovering south. troops. Fire that straight forward to catch somebody. Well, they know they're against Necron, so they know that they can just teleport in and do it. Well, the good thing is that we can't telefrag. Which I think they're grateful for. We also pierce straight through shields. They are doomed. We are death. Boarding successful. Frayed ones are feasting. Inevitable. Carotech swarms have breached the enemy vessel. Inferior vessel sighted. What is your command? Oh, 
so far he's just absolutely tearing people apart with it. guys on this ship. Oh, his engine there. Off. I am the dearest to spear. Dum, 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 Ready dum. to serve. Looks like there's no one coming in. How may I serve? Thanks for getting close. Because currently they're getting absolutely hammered by that. That thing's worth hundred. Enemy me. vessels suffered critical damage. They were just regenerating. That's our prob. That's their problem. They're just quite literally regenerating. Yeah, let's see if we capture that zone. Yes. Ready to serve. Power. Mm, actually, you two can be a reactive. Trial strike complete. Critical damage levied. Motive units fully engaged. How may I serve? Anyway. Mm. Ping, 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 so. Reassembling coherence. Do, 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 do. All power to motive units. Chase him down. Moving. And he's dead. God. Bum. Bum. <laughs> Living. Oh, Christ almighty, you gotta be kidding me. 
throw him away! The nice. thing is, he's actually healing up. He's regenerating his hull. Especially when he gets close. I can tell you activate that one more time. I think I can't call in all of my ships, unfortunately. Kenopic probe inbound! How many boarding actions does that one ship just get hit with? And it's close enough that he's getting a lovely little health. His health back up. Enemy vessel has exploded! I do love about the Necron class ships. They have yes, they don't have shields, so they get boarded easy enough. But they have very strong anti-boarding actions. They're very tough when it comes to boarding. So they don't. And if you set use their um, armor reflective re armor mode, the hunker down mode, they regenerate faster, and they keep, and every couple of seconds they get a unit back. I think I just leveled up. Yay, no battle plan, and we got an action point back. No, we do not have enough action points to jump all the way to the orcs. allows us to project our power across a number of vital systems, though it may prove difficult to hold a fragment. One day, Zara, you will deliver good tidings without the bad clattering close behind. <laughs> oh, that. One of these days you're gonna do this without telling me something horrible afterwards. No, just one of these days. I'd like to hear you come in and go, Sir, have some good news. And I'll go, Yes, that's lovely, thank you. Okay, so let's see what we've got here, option wise. Uh, improved internalized drive. The next turn grants an additional movement point to the fleet. Okay, so this guy gets free move points for the fleet. Master of the Scarabs, when the fleet is stationed in a system, every allied fleet in the system itself increases hull repair by 10% and troop recovery by 3 plus 3. Okay, so that's good, that's a good healing thing, so if you want to heal them. Necron Regent, the system where the fleet is stationed grant gains one additional evolution point at each turn. Transferred consciousness. Every new ship hired by the fleet is recruited directly at level two. That's good. Optimize enemy distribution. When the fleet is stationed in a system, every ally fleet in the system, including yourself, has its ships upkeep reduced by twenty five percent. Um I mean that is good for later on and that is good for uh, now. They're all good. We'll take the optimized thing and reduce our costs. And when you level up, you can have something cool. Now that system has a little harder to take because I can only deploy two fleets. And they currently outgun okay, they don't actually outgun me that much to be honest, they have a thousand, they don't. Could I be cheeky and take a foot and take all three of these systems and thus reduce enemy control by 1%? I know that's literally one system to take and it would reduce renowned ridiculously. Hmm. Yeah. 
I have enough cash, I'd buy a new fleet. Actually, go on, watch. Oh, if I wait, okay, if I wait a turn, I can have a new fleet. At the same time, I could just, you know, jump, jump, go now and go get the third system. And I'm cheeky enough to do it, because I'm at full health. And these guys only have, cannot deploy a full 700. Hell, I can't deploy a full 700, I have over a thousand. They got 1,200, but they've also got little defense turrets. However, if I keep the battle away from the defense turrets, they're completely useless. And I could just literally wait the battle out a bit and just recover health and troops and get myself in a better position and then just storm in and destroy them. Detroit, take control of capture areas so the stations will be on capture areas. That's fine. Guarantee so they'll have yep, do that and to here. So I need to really take down this systems over here. I can design background. How may I serve? You go that and go that. I am the dynasty sphere. Energy to weapons array. Since we actually too far out, let's run these here. Now they have a larger fleet. The enemy has seized fleet. a strategic area. However, I think we've gone outgunned when it comes to the actual firepower. has seized a strategic area. It might be faster and easier to go after these. There will be no escape. They're just destroying turrets. Inferior vessels sighted. Is a little one? A little one? Yeah, that's the guy I want to kill. Ready to serve. Wow, they're still getting battered, man. They're still getting battered by that thing. Eesh. Now they will go for a quick victory point. Oh, victory points, yes, team sir. victory points. The enemy has seized a strategic area. You have seized a strategic area. I serve your glory. Ready to serve. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Yep, and here comes 
Welcome to the bad news. Out of my way, boys. Yeah, they can just literally battering ram their way through people. He's won the fight. You know what? Um, come back, please. What is your command? Yeah. Two of their biggest ships destroyed. The enemy has accumulated 25% of strategic points. So you know that's been launched by you. You're waiting your things. I am the dynasty spear. You part. have seized a strategic area. Shroud strike successful. Mind if what I just like continuous healing on you guys? Thanks. Yeah, pal. Really. Shroud strike complete. Critical damage levy. Yes, my liege. Yeah, we're going to switch chase after you. Shroud strike successful. Ready to go. They're just getting destroyed. You have accumulated 25% of strategic points. They, they're destroying like, oh, we got the engines, ah! It's like, that's not really helping, cause, um... We didn't just... We didn't just proceed to pummel the ever-living bejesus out of them. Internal damage register. That was the deck. Mutiny again. They are, they are doomed. I mean, they're ahead of us in points, but, um. Yeah, we're just. Drifting Hulk. That went bang next to them. Okay. 
The enemy has accumulated 50% of strategic points. We're not going to escape that. Pink. There were the generators. And now they have to be all boarded up. Energy to recall in essence. You have accumulated 50% of strategic points. Now we shall deal with these guys. They are doomed. Motive units fully engaged. While we deal with these. Enemy orbital platform silence. That gives me more points. Yeah, they have getting three points, I'm getting only two points. But they are getting absolutely hammered <laughs> by those things. Enemy orbital platform silence. You know that. On the bar. You cheat him. Motive units fully engaged. Initialize motive power. What is your command? No, oh no, we lost the deck again. No, not the deck. Not like we can just regenerate the stuff. Critical damage and things do not mean much to the Necrons. They just take out. Cover immediately. And it's awesome. Point strike. Morning action. Enemy vessel suffered critical damage. I serve your glory. Sound strike successful. Caltech swarms have breached the enemy vessel. The cheese grater. But he is more than I am. All power to motive units. You have accumulated 75% of strategic points. The enemy has accumulated 75% of strategic points. Yeah, they're literally getting these points because they, they have guys. The two uh, space stations left. Adopted. The Hulk. Hope. Uh, space stations here. Moving. How may I serve? Yeah, all engage mode. Okay, so we've taken. I am the dynasty sphere. You, you have seized a strategic now. area. Okay, now we're getting the three points. Now we're getting two points. We are well ahead of them though in terms of points. We've got like extra 200 points on them. Ready to serve. And now we're just command? healing. <laughs> we're just gonna tool over there. Healing as we go. Doop 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 doop. I am the dynasty sphere. Every 30 seconds, a new trooper appears. So these guys can go from like being completely near undermanned to you are close no to victory casualties. by strategic points. 
Yeah, well, this was fun and blowing on the smithereens. Get and get. That's fun because I just keep jumping f closer, faster. You just jump quite a distance. If you increase their detection at that range, they can jump further. Swarms, fortunately. Eight. I Thirteen. Glory. And doesn't have one. Only five ships can do the restoration thing. The lightning strikes are ridiculously huge. They have some ridiculous range on those lightning strikes. They outgunned us, outnumbered us, and we wiped them out completely. Wow, we only got to now rank 5. Yeesh, we got that quick. It felt longer to doing it with the Imperial Guard, Imperial Navy. Hmm, they gave less renown points. On the plus side, higher capacities. You know, I can now potentially bring Another ship to the fight. <laughs> he took a bit of a battery, but I've got the turn time. I can take a turn to recover. And that will be next time. For when we come back, folks, we shall go forth and blow stuff up. So until then, until then, I'll catch you later. See ya.